Hello guys, okay, this is the uh, G5500, this is the azimuth rotator, basically it's a G800, same thing. Um, as you can see, I have the top case flipped upside down right now. Uh, all, bear, all ball bearings are intact, there should be... 49 on top and 49 on that uh, sleeve that slides up and bolts to this so if you want to grease your bearings now's a good time to do it this video is primarily about the potentiometer or the pot that are notorious for going bad on these even though Yezu says they never have problems with potentiometers well these are they're pure junk so if you can find a potentiometer that will work um, more power to you what I did with this one this is a potentiometer take this out this this uh, Phillips out this Phillips out set them somewhere maybe throw them in a lid this slides out okay um, basically what a potentiometer does it tells your uh, controller where to point um, on elevation or azimuth depending on which rotor you're working on so you'll have three uh, three wires one two three mine are brown red and orange um, the middle wire is just a wiper it's called a wiper so across this one and this one and check it with your volt ohms meter uh, put it on ohms and check it should be around 500 maybe 510 between the two outside ones what you want to do if you're installing a new one or if you want to check and see if the one you got is bad is if you want to check this one to the middle one and it should see as as this turns right the rotor turns so does the uh, impedance for the uh, for the potentiometer so what I do since this is a 400 this is what I'm gonna try I don't know if it's gonna work or not with this particular potentiometer I, I, unscrewed it moved these ball bearings out of the way just kind of slid it turned it over I sprayed, I sprayed some contact cleaner some CRC on it and um, what had happened at one point because if your potentiometer is bad you're going to get a, a nothing infinity reading from here to here and from here to here However, that's what was problem here. The problem was here. So what I did was I poured some con contact cleaner in here and I just uh, worked this thing around. Uh, you'll have to pull it out a little bit because it's connected to uh, inner gears in there. So spin it, um, spin it around. Uh, write down how many times you've turned it so you can turn it back. Some people uh, take a sharpie and actually sh uh, draw an edge here and in and up and over to kind of tell where they were, which at that point, it probably doesn't really matter. To me, it's almost like somebody has been in here before and noticed that the uh, potentiometer maybe had they have moved it or, or something uh, I have no explanation for why throwing contact cleaner and I don't really think a contact was dirty in there but I soaked it and I let it sit and I worked it back and forth um, and what I was able to do was take one lead or one probe uh, of the ohms meter put it to this outside and to the middle check it so ultimately what you want to have is you want to have it centered so what's half of 500 uh, 
250. That's what you want to have checked between both of these if the rotor is in the halfway position. With a four with the Yazoo rotors, they spin 450 degrees, so half of that is 225 degrees. Um, so what I did, I haven't checked it yet, but what I'm gonna do is I turned it 225 degrees. Well, first uh, I stopped it at, at fully counterclockwise, and I brought it 225 degrees. I marked it with a, uh, a piece of tape on top of the bell and on the bottom down here. And I drew a line so I could line them back up. So I've got it at 225 degrees here now. And the potentiometer was showing 50 ohms on one side and 450 on the other, which means the rotor was seeing it turned maybe northeast so or, sorry my dog's uh, she's snoring so anyway I'm gonna try this and see if it kind of gets me in the ballpark because these are very difficult they don't come to line there's a reason Yezu wants you to send it to them it's so they can stick it to you for one because these ain't cheap to to, to ship out the potentiometer is about 14 bucks um, from Yezu if they have them in stock which they never have them in stock so anyway if you can find one I've looked on eBay um, some of the uh, there's some on eBay that you can find the problem is you need to find one that uh, these do 450 instead of 360 that's where the problem is if you can get one that does 360 and probably be happy with it you know um, but I just lucked up and got this one working this potentiometer I got a reading the only way you're gonna know if it's good or bad is hook an ohms meter up to it the first indication for a bad pot is when you're turning this or at any time you're gonna see the uh, the needle go hokey pokey it'll jump it'll slow down and the rotor is like way over here on east and it's on south and it's just barely crawling uh, stuff like that uh, is or you'll see it get over here and it'll start just jumping uh, um, uh, guy I talked to on AMSAT Robert he calls it the hokey pokey so what I'm going to do since I've got it uh, zeroed out 250 ohms from this one to the center and from that one to the center I'm gonna put the case back on where I lined it up at and see where I'm at from there and I'll make another video if that works <laughs> 